Hi everybody, in this video, we're gonna take a look at how to use the screen capture feature within Canvas Studio. So let's jump straight into it. Uh, here we are again in my Canvas Studio library. Um, we're gonna go straight up to the record button in the top right hand corner. We'll open that up and let's select the screen capture button there. This might prompt us to download some material. So make sure you press to open or to download as you will need to uh, download the screen capture software onto your computer. So in this case, um, it's just come up. However, if it says to download or take you through some instructions, just download it to your hard drive um, and then it will open up when it's finished downloading. So here we are in the screen capture software as well. Um, there are a number of features around here, which I'll take you through. The first thing I'll show you is that we have this black and white dotted line around the area. This is the area within which we will be recording uh, on our screen. So anything that sits within this black and white line is what will be recorded for your video. In order to adjust what is being recorded, you can click on the black and white lines to move it around. You can also use these corner areas to drag in and out and change the shape of your recording. Um, or we can also go to the size section here, open that up and select um, one of the preset sizes. So we might go to full screen 1080p, that's gonna take us to the whole screen. Uh, but I think for this video, I might make it a little bit smaller than that, I'll to make it 720p. So this is still high definition 720p. Now there's also a few other buttons that you have here that you can select. So we can either go to screen. Uh, this is this means we are just recording what's on the screen. We can select webcam. This means we'll just record the webcam. If you choose that feature, don't forget to select your webcam on. Like in this case here, I'm gonna select mine on there. Um, or we can also do both. So we can have both our webcam in the corner and do some screen recording of something on the screen. Now, if you select this option as well, you can move this webcam around to put it somewhere more appropriate. You may be using slides, for instance, that have text in a certain area. So you can move that to the uh, most appropriate space so it doesn't cover anything on the screen. So let's leave it as this for now. Let's leave it with, the, with both the webcam and the screen capture feature on. We've gone through the size. We also have the button here in the settings called narration. Now narration is basically your microphone. So uh, if you select this open, it's just gonna give you some options of which microphone to use. If you don't want any live sound, you can select none. Uh, but in this case, I'm going to select my Yeti microphone. So it's gonna give me some options here to, to test the volume. So I, I like that, I like that, and I will press okay. So now that I have um, selected the microphone, you can actually see the green bar moving up and down as I talk. So that's what you wanna see if you're recording with your microphone. That's, that's telling you that it's picking up your voice. Uh, the option below that as well is to add in computer audio. So you may have things playing on your computer if you're using a particular program that makes sounds when you click on things, or if you're showing a video within your screen recording, if you want to hear any of the audio that your computer is making, uh, then you need to turn this on. Uh, however, if you don't want to hear anything that your computer is making, say you might have dings from emails, notifications and things like that, that you don't want in the recording, um, you can leave that off. So in this case, I'm going to leave that off and I'll press X. Uh, we also have our preferences button here. So if I open that up, it just gives us a lot more options into how we want to record. So in particular, we've got some hotkeys that we can start using. So hotkeys are ways that you can um, use your keyboard to control some of the functions like pause, record, that kind of thing. Um, so if you feel comfortable setting those up, you can, but it's definitely not essential. So in this case, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna worry about setting up any of those for now. I'll just press okay. And here we are back in our normal screen and we're pretty much ready to record. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to bring up my slides here that I want to record and I'm going to shift 
this screen to be right over those slides. Um, so that's looking pretty good. That fits right within the square, actually. That's good. Um, so I'm ready to start recording. So once I hit record, that's going to count in uh, three, two, one, and then it'll start recording. So let's do that now. See the countdown there. And now I can start recording down the bottom here. You have a little timer to show you how long you've been recording and I can start interacting with this. Now, if at any point during your screen recording, you want to take a short break, you can press the pause button and that will pause your recording there. You'll see that timer has, it, has stopped moving. When I'm ready to go again, I can just press record and you'll see it gives me that countdown again and I'm ready to go. So here I am in, in this recording going through um, my slides and let's say I want to pause again and do that. Um, and perhaps I don't like what I've just recorded in that last section. Um, so what I can do is I can either go back and use this sort of blue area here. I can go back and, and find where maybe I want to restart my recording from. Um, or I could even use these back and forward buttons, which will take me to my most um, to the next most recent pause break. So you'll see there's a there's a red line there that's come up um, and that's come up because I made that pause before. So I can actually select this button and that's going to take me right back to where I last pause. Um, if I select it again, it's actually going to take me all the way back to the start. Um, but in this case, I'm going to say I want to I want to restart my recording from that red line from where I last paused. So I'm going to go to there and I'm going to press my record button again, but you'll see it's kind of, it's changed a little bit, it has this arrow and it's saying continue recording at seeked position. So that's just saying you're going to be recording not from the, the end of the recording, but actually from somewhere in the middle where, where you've put it. So if I click that, it's gonna ask, are you sure you want to truncate the recordings? Are you sure you wanna shorten the, the recording that you've made? In this case, I'm going to say yes, because I, I want to re-record that, that end bit. So I'll press yes, and that's now counting me through back into the recording. Here I am again, started around about 14 and a half seconds, and I'm still recording here. Now, while I'm recording as well, I can use this draw feature, and this will add in some, some things, some options that I can use while I'm recording. Uh, so in this case, I'm going to select this drop down menu at the top here and you'll see it gives me some options of, of things I can draw on the screen. Uh, in this case, I'm going to leave it on freehand, but you can select any of these other areas. Um, the option to the right of that, if I click on that, I can choose what color I'm going to use. Uh, in this case, maybe I will use orange. To the right of that again, we just have the weight of the drawing that I'm going to use there. So maybe I'm just going to make it a bit of a thicker line and I'm going to press the eight there. Um, and then next to that as well, we can either capture the cursor while drawing or we can hide the cursor while drawing. In this case, I will leave it on capture the cur cursor. That just means when you're recording, you'll be able to see the cursor moving around. So I will now draw a line here. This is just me pointing out the title in my recording. Maybe I can underline something that's important. Perhaps you have a due date in your slides that you want to highlight there. Um, and that's allowing me to do that. Now I can uh, erase those things. So if I press erase, that will get rid of everything on the screen. Uh, and if I want to get out of the drawing function there, I have to go back down and click on the pencil once more. And you'll see uh, that takes me back to my normal settings here. And I'm going to pause my recording. You'll see now I've got that blue bar again. I can jump to anywhere in that recording if I need to. But in this case, I'm feeling pretty good with what I've recorded. So I'm going to press done. And so what happens when I press done is that will take me to the um, to the editing screen, which we'll look at in more detail in the next video. However, before I do that, if uh, you want to, you don't like what you've recorded, uh, you can just press the trash button here and that will delete the whole video and you can start all over again. But in this case, let's say I'm happy with the video. I am going to press done. 
and that will now take me to this screen here where we can start adding some information, a title or description, and to go into some of the more advanced editing um, techniques that we have available here. So I will leave that there. I'll see you in the next video and I'll take you through how to edit what you've just recorded in the screen recorder function. Um, thank you very much and we'll see you there.